looking at the NEC 20 under pressure in today's uh, trading session. Could you talk us uh, through some of the gainers and the losers today? Okay, uh, thank you very much. I think uh, today we saw top gainers are the small stocks, uh, companies like uh, Crown Badger, uh, uh, TPS Arena, and uh, Transcentury. And these are because they have been falling. They have not been rallying as the rest of the market has been rallying. And what do you make of the performance a year to date that we have seen uh, coming through on the NEC 20? And talk us through some of the companies that have uh, led to this uh, upward momentum we are seeing on the boards. I think here to date uh, the Kenyan stock market has performed so well across the board, if you check. And uh, we are talking like uh, this year, year to date we are up uh, 34%, which is quite uh, recommendable. And I think uh, mostly it's because of the favorable uh, economic uh, conditions. You've seen inflation has been falling, interest rates have been falling, and uh, generally the companies have been performing so well. I think that has really pushed uh, the Nairobi uh, Securities Exchange. So what is uh, your, in, your end target uh, for the NEC 20? It's pretty flirting with that uh, 4,200 uh, points mark right now. Uh, I, I, I think, I tend to think we might see some downward pressure on the NSC, mainly because uh, we might see some profit taking. And also we are likely to see, you know, we are nearing the general election next year in March that fall. And uh, there must be some uh, loss of interest in the stock exchange. So for me, I think uh, we might see some ease on the bullish trend that we have witnessed here to date. And looking at those inflation numbers coming in at 4.14% uh, in October from 5.32%. Uh, what did you make of that inflation number? Uh, uh, first of all, I think it is more than we expected. Yes, we expected uh, a slowdown in inflation, but not with that margin. And I think mainly if you look at the figures, is because there have been a ease in the food prices, mainly because Kenya, we have experienced favorable uh, weather condition, good rainfall. And if you check on our inflation figure, 36% weight is based on food and non-alcoholic uh, products. So that has really isn't the inflation rate. Yeah, and I, and I think that's why we are seeing these figures. And it's all about the outlook now for inflation, given the fact that we could see some uh, pressure coming through, given the rise in fuel and food prices going forward. Thank you. OK, for me, I expect uh, we could have bottomed out in the inflation. But there are some just uh, marginal room for the inflation to come down, mainly because of the food. If you notice that uh, recently we have received quite good harvest mm -hmm. in maize, which is a major component in the food, uh, stable food of Africa, of uh, Kenya. So going forward, yes, it's true, we are going to see some pressure because of the oil and fuel prices. But again, you have to note that uh, the component of uh, fuel in the inflation figure is uh, less than 10%. So the main move is on what happens on the food. Indeed. And if you look at uh, the central bank, they're due to announce interest rates in uh, next week's trading session. We had the Ugandan bank, uh, uh, the central bank, uh, cutting rates in today's uh, trading session. What do you see the central bank uh, doing? I had a few guests in yes yesterday saying that we could perhaps see uh, 200 basis points uh, being cut in next week's session. Definitely with good uh, inflation figures uh, announced yesterday, that gives quite a good room for CBK to cut the rates. And uh, I think there could be a cut, probably 150 basis points. But again, the central bank will also be keen to check on what will that uh, effect be on the exchange. So definitely because of inflation figures coming down and it's within the target of a central bank, we might see them cutting and I estimate around 150 uh, basis points.